People are asking, you know, what am I doing? They say, what am I doing? Am I staying at featherweight, lightweight? You know, what's next? It's official. It's going to happen. Uh, Yair Rodriguez and myself, UFC 290, International Fight Week. And this card is absolutely stacked. Very uh, honoured and happy to be on this card. And headlining it too, so uh, how good is that? Alex is the number one in the featherweight division. This is just another fight. Uh, yeah, year comes with you know different challenges and you know different strengths. Uh, he's a pretty tough guy. Very hard to read. He just throws things off center. Look, there is some holes in the game. Yeah. And uh, we have to exploit them. You know, we're doing some study and we're uh, putting together some ideas as to where we can use Alex's strengths to mitigate what uh, Rodriguez is bringing to the table. What do you think? Suits me? Yeah. For your amusement. For your amusement. You put it on. We're waiting for you. Oh, my God. Prison rules. Prison rules. Yair yeah. is basically the complete opposite style grappler to Islam. Islam's going to apply consistent pressure until he gets to a top position, shut down the guy's movement, and uh, ultimately take very little risk when he goes for anything on the ground, especially submissions. Yair is going to be a guy that very rarely finds himself on top in grappling situations. He's basically going to concede to more typical jiu-jitsu style positions, particularly close guard. He does a lot of stuff that breaks the the rules of what we really are told to do in an MMA situation. If you're really so aggressive with the submissions, guys have no room to just relax on the ground. Really, a lot of guys will shoot a double end up in close guard and rest and really ride out the rounds. Yair won't let them do that. He's basically like a, very similar to Tony Ferguson in how he plays close guard with strikes. I wanted to be active. I told you that. I was told after the fight that you know do i you know i was asked do i want to wait around for the rematch like do i want to fight a featherweight you know what do i want to do and i go i don't want to wait around because they said do you want to wait around the only thing is um if you you know wait for for that fight you know that might not be till the end of the year you know we don't know when that fight is happening but it's not looking like it's going to be anytime soon i'm like i ain't waiting so i'd rather fight featherweight and then do the rematch sometime uh at the end of the year or whatever it is, whenever that fight can happen, you know, that, that fight's uh, always going to be there. I want to stay active and I told you I wanted to be active and I wasn't lying. So this is proof of that. When I do get that lightweight belt, you know I will be keeping both uh, divisions busy. A lot of people were like, how are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? This is how I'm going to do it. All right, so we're here in the beautiful city of Sydney. Uh, we're here at the Fitness Expo, about to head there now. Uh, obviously for CBT, I'm going to be uh, doing a meet and greet there, so it's going to be cool. It's always uh, busy. I've been to one of these before, and uh, I mean, it's always a mad turnout. Plenty of people there, so looking forward to catching up with everybody, and let's see what's happening there. Good enough, good enough. What's up guys, we're here at the combat stand at the Australian Fitness Expo and the champ is here shaking everyone's hands and uh, what a vibe, what a vibe. Hey, you too, you too. Even have Irish fans on it too. Ah, here we go, nice. How you doing? How are you doing? How are you, doing? How are you, doing? How are you brother? Oh, you always smell good, you always smell good. He could probably really help you through certain things, he helped me improve with my idea of his kicking. Yes. I don't know if he could help you with like distance, blitz, stuff like that. But having the spot and moving around. Well that's it man, I was like that because again it's just uh 
He does not. He has one speed. Because uh, a half? Yeah, he has one speed. Well, that's what I mean. Everything yeah. comes up. So, yeah. I mean, like, so. He's control. He can just, like. Yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. He does it so. He will spin. Yeah. And it's real. I like it. just shows you how the balance and that. He can do it. And it just stops. I was like, how could you do it that quick and then just stop like that? I mean, if I do a spin kick and I get there that quick, I'm slowing down <laughs> at least two meters before it gets through. That was that yeah, he likes as well. Oi! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs>